everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Soumya today I will be doing the fourth lab so as part of this quiz I will be doing this fourth lab I have already completed these labs so all these three labs I have already completed and you can see these lab details in the description below so if you have missed out to watch these labs so you can always go back to the description and check out my videos on these labs so I will be doing this lab cloud functions so let's click on this lab so this is a 20 minutes lab you can either perform this cloud functions in a console or you can do it on a command line so if you are comfortable on command line interface you can do this second lab and if you are comfortable doing in a web console you can start with this lab i will be doing both of this lab so you get a complete understanding on how it works on a console and how it works on the command line interface so let's start with this lab so this is a lab overview. A cloud function is nothing but a piece of code that runs in response to an event such as an HTTP request, message from a message service or a file upload. Whenever cloud events happen, this cloud function gets triggered. So these uh, set of events are considered as a cloud events. And these cloud functions are event driven. They run only when something happens. These are some of the examples where you can use a cloud function. And you can write your code in any language that supports Node.js and you can deploy your code to the cloud with a few clicks. So as part of this lab, we'll be creating, deploying and testing a cloud function using the Google Cloud Console. So this uh, specific lab contains five tasks. So we will be creating a function, we will deploy this function and we will test this function and also view the logs of this. So let's click on start lab. So this is a 20 minutes lab. You need to ensure that you complete your task within this specific time. So you can go through the setup and requirements. In setup and requirements, it just explains how you can start the lab. So now the lab is started. Click on open Google Cloud Console. So we'll be performing all these operations in the Google Cloud Console. So this is a web console where we'll be creating the functions and using it. Now we have activated this Google Cloud Console. Let's go back. So as part of task one, we'll be creating a function. So to create a function, we have to go to the navigation menu, click on cloud function and then create function. So let's go back to console here and a navigation menu, click on navigation menu. So if you don't find here, you can click here on search button. You can type cloud function. This is a one, click on this. Towards your right, there is a learn tutorial. And if you want to go through some of the use cases, you can always uh, click on this learn tutorial and go through these documents and also go through the use cases. So let's close this. So now we are in the cloud function dashboard. So here, click on create function. So we need to provide the function name here. So let's go back to our lab. So the function name will be GC function. So whatever you get in your lab, you have to ensure to use that name. So let's copy this. Let's go back to this update here. So ensure you don't give any spaces here. So now I have provided the function name. Now the region should be US East 4. So let's select the region. So this is the region where the cloud function will be created. Trigger type will be keeping HTTP. This we will keep it default. The runtime build connections and security settings. So whatever memory allocated, whatever default value it has taken, let it be you don't modify anything here next under auto scaling here let's set the maximum number of instances to five so once that is run let's click on next so let's go back here next we are proceeding with the task to deploy the function so we still have to do some of the configuration inside that function so once you click on that uh, next button it will take you to this configuration page here under runtime don't change the runtime let it be node.js uh, node.js20 and uh, under the source code, if you click on drop down, so by default it has taken this inline editor, let it be, don't change anything. Then under index.js, you can see the hello world function. So don't modify anything, we'll keep this hello world function only. And the entry point is hello world. So next, you need to click on deploy. And a package.json, it is simple HTTP. So next, just click on deploy. This will deploy the function. Now you can see it is creating a function and it is deploying this function. So you can see this function is getting created. If you click on details, here you can find the details of this function. So here you can see when it was deployed, this function is created in US East 4. 
So maximum instances, we have given five. So it has taken the scene. So it's getting deployed. So let's wait for some more time. It's deployed. So you should get this green check. Function is active now. So this is a trigger URL. So if we go back to this lab, and if we click on this uh, check my progress, this should be complete now. So we have deployed the function. Next, we need to test this function. Let's go back to our cloud console here. Here we have created this function by the name GC function. And under actions, click on this, click on test function. So in the triggering uh, event field, we need to enter this. So let's copy this. So here we need to enter this. Once we enter that, you can click on test the function. Now it is running. You should get this output hello world. So now this is complete. This is the expected output. We got the expected output as hello world. So now we have tested the function. Let's proceed with the task for view logs. Let's go back here. Here under logs. And check the logs here. So if you go back to function details, here under actions, you can click on view logs to check the logs of both this function. So this is how the log should look like. So here you can find the GC function logs. You can click on stream logs as well. So here you can find the GC function logs. So this is how you can find the logs. So you can now click on check my progress and this should be complete now. So, so let's try to answer this. Cloud function is a serverless execution environment for building and connecting cloud services. That is true. Which type of trigger is found with while creating cloud function in the lab? So it's HTTP. So once you complete all these tasks, you can click on end lab and end this lab. So in this lab, we just created a function and deployed this function. After deploying this function, we have tested this function and we were also able to view the logs. So this is how the cloud function works. So let's end this lab. So once you have completed all these tasks, you can go back. So you can go back to your quiz to refresh this page. So once you complete that lab, you should get this green check mark. So now we have completed this lab. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with the latest content on this channel. So in the next lab, I will be performing this cloud functions quick start using command line. Please stay tuned to my channel. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next video.